Hello everyone, welcome back to my new video. My name is Vinayak Madan and you are watching Do It My Way. So guys, my schedule is very, very occupied today. I'm making a video on the tablet itself because I was recording the TOEIC test on the tablet. So I had no time because after this, I'm gonna sit for three hours on in a single stretch for uh, the Swiss batch. So uh, today we're gonna talk about TOEIC test. I was supposed to make the IELTS test but uh, I was getting messages from the you know followers on Instagram. So we have received the English TOIC test. So how are we gonna prepare for it? So suddenly I had to change my mind. I had some pimple on it and it is my head is aching a lot. It's a very bad headache. I had a Panadol, Perofen and uh, you know, I've tried having a tea. So the head is going very bad. So, but still the work is work. You have to complete it anyhow, you know, at any given cost. So a uh, few of the answers, I don't know, I was not able to answer it. My head was, you know, was paining a lot, but I had to answer so just to show you how to answer it. What are the type of questions you'll be, you know, encountering. So exact TOEIC test will be given to you the way I have told you which the way I have been at the high, the way you will be getting in this particular video. So please refer to it. Very, very important video. And, uh, they'll, and in the listening section, that is second section, I will just give you one, one, a tip for you the moment the people will start talking about the conversation start noting down the ideas or the the points bullet points on which they are discussing about because that will help you uh, answering all those multiple choice questions so i'll also be uh, you know uh, sharing the uh, what do you say the tip the way i was writing on the phone while listening to that audio so it is very easy for you right this this is a very very simple trick and the easiest trick you have to you know uh, inculcate in yourself before doing that particular at test. the end of the video i have also added a uh, one uh, uh, reading paragraph so that I have not answered it. I, this is a homework for you. Please mark down all the answers one, two, three, four, five, so that I should know what you're doing, and I'll be ans I'll be putting my answers into that also. Please refer to that, right? So let's not waste time. I'm really much occupied, so I just wanted to put a video so that you should get best out of it because twenty third, I guess people are getting the TOEIC test invitation. So let's not waste time. Let's jump to that, right? And do subscribe the channel. Do hit the like button. Do comment under the comment section let me know how is the video take care bye bye and i don't want to waste your time now bye bye a the construction is almost finished b the construction crews are having a break c the workers are standing on the scaffold d the bridge is under construction A. The woman is holding a broomstick. B. The woman is appreciating the paintings. C. The woman is leaning against the wall. D. The woman is painting the wall. A. The women are sitting across from each other. B. One of the women is writing on some paper. C. One of the women is looking out the window. D. The women are sitting side by side. A. The women are sitting across from each other. B. One of the women is writing on some paper. C. One of the women is looking out the window. A. There are sailors on the dock. B. The ducks are swimming around in the lake. C. The passengers are about to board the ferry. D. The ships are docked at the wharf. A. The woman is paying for some merchandise. B. Someone's purchases are being bagged at the store. C. The customer is handing money to the clerk. D. The man is wheeling the cart. A. The woman is walking along the sidewalk. B. A car is running a red light. C. The woman is holding up some objects. D. The woman is walking on the crosswalk. The aircraft is approaching the airport. A. Some vehicles on the side of the road have broken down. B. The airplane is being refueled. 
C. The aircraft is parked on the tarmac. D. The aircraft. A. The airplane has just taken off. B. The vehicle is hoisted into the air. C. There are two airliners taking off simultaneously. D. The tarmac is covered in ice. A. The aircraft is taxiing down the runway. B. The aircraft is parked next to the terminal. C. The runway is being resurfaced by some machinery. D. The airplane is leaving the ground. A. Some passengers are waiting in line at the gate. B. The woman is handing over the boarding pass. C. Several people are waiting in the terminal. D. The woman is pushing a luggage cart. A. The airplane has just taken off. B. The airplane has landed on the runway. C. The runway is being repaved. D. The ground crew is guiding an aircraft to the gate. A. The airplane has just taken off. B. The airplane has landed on the runway. A. Some travelers are waiting in the terminal. B. Several people are disembarking from an airplane. C. The plane is landing at the airport. D. The passengers are boarding the plane. A. The people are boarding the aircraft. B. The people are flying the plane. C. The people are passing through security screening. D. The people are checking their luggage. A. Some luggage has been placed on the conveyor belt. B. The airport workers are restocking aircraft with refreshments. C. The passengers are fastening their seatbelts. D. The baggage handlers are using the conveyor belt to load passenger luggage. A. Some passengers are claiming their luggage. B. Airport security is assisting a passenger. C. The ground crew is unloading luggage. Have you checked your email yet? A. We don't have to. B. I am still working on the email list. C. No, I haven't had the time. Have you checked your email yet? A. We don't have to. B. I am still working on the email list. C. No, I haven't had the time. Interns get paid less, don't they? A. Yes, they are international companies. B. Yeah, they get a weekly stipend rather than regular wages. C. No, they'll get the payment tomorrow. Where's the new fax machine? A. Next to the water fountain. B. I'll send a fax tomorrow. C. By Wednesday. Which of the gym lockers is yours? A. The one in the middle. B. Please apply for gym membership. C. It is locked already. Who can we speak to regarding the product defects? A. This defective product cannot be returned. B. The store manager will be able to help you. C. No, I don't want to exchange the product. Why was the job interview so short? A. There are several job openings. 
B. The candidate wasn't qualified for the job. C. I have another interview tomorrow. Why was the job interview so short? A. There are several job openings. B. The candidate wasn't qualified for the job. C. I have another interview tomorrow. Do you know who's replacing Adam while he's away? A. He will be at the trade fair. B. Yes, I replaced the cartridge yesterday. C. I believe John will take his shift. Does Mr. Lee have a retirement plan? A. He is planning to apply for a job. B. Next year, probably. C. Not that I know of. Does Mr. Lee have a retirement plan? A. He is planning to apply for a job. B. Next year, probably. C. Good morning, Jack. Can you do me a favor and photocopy these documents for me, please? I need them for the staff meeting tomorrow morning. There will be 15 attendees. Hi, Grace. Unfortunately, the co copy machine is out of order. The repairman is supposed to be coming this afternoon to have a look after it, but this is the second time it has broken down in the past two weeks, so it may not be fixable. Oh, man. I need the copies by 7.30 a.m. to prepare the folders for the meeting. Would you be able to run to our branch in Marple? It is only a 10-minute drive. I just need to make sure I'm prepared for this meeting. Yeah, I can do that. I actually did my training at the Marple office, so I am familiar with it. I can leave right now. Are these all the documents you need? Good morning, Jack. Can you do me a favor and photocopy these documents for me, please? I need them for the staff meeting tomorrow morning. There will be 15 attendees. Hi, Grace. Unfortunately, the copy machine is out of order. The repairman is supposed to be coming this afternoon to have a look after it, but this is the second time it has broken down in the past two weeks, so it may not be fixable. Oh, man. I need the copies by 7.30 a.m. to prepare the folders for the meeting. Would you be able to run to our branch in Marple? It is only a 10-minute drive. I just need to make sure I'm prepared for this meeting. Yeah, I can do that. I actually did my training at the Marple office, so I am familiar with it. I can leave right now. Are these all the documents you need? Have you checked your email? It looks like Antonio Garx is going to take over as production manager at our factory in Vietnam, while Susan Cotter is out on maternity leave. The post lasts six months. Wow, I haven't seen that email yet. Did the email say when he was flying out? Not for a few months, at the beginning of January. Well, the project in Southampton won't be finished by January, I wonder who will fill his position there. The email didn't say. So, I'm assuming they haven't made that decision. I personally think that Jesse Key would excel in that position. I agree. She is very good at jumping in a situation and making it her own. It would be a great test, as she hasn't worked on a project of this size before. She has done a great job, but I am not sure if she's quite ready for this challenge. I guess we will see how things progress. The email also said, Upper Management will be holding a meeting about this subject tomorrow and they ask you to RSVP, so be sure to respond.
Good morning. This is Demi Geard. Is Mrs Haley in? I'm a client of hers. Well, Mrs Haley is actually travelling abroad until the end of next week. Is this an emergency? I can attempt to contact her at the resort. No, that is not necessary. I was just swinging by to give her these documents. She had asked me to sign them. Is it okay to leave them with you? That is no problem. I'll make sure Mrs Haley is aware you dropped them off and will give them to her as soon as she gets back. Here is a post-it note. Can you please make note of what this is regarding so Mrs Haley has a clear idea when she returns? Sure, I will do that. Hello, I'm contacting you to get an update on a claim I filed with you. It is regarding an emergency dental surgery I had while I was on vacation. Sure, I'd be happy to check on that for you. Do you remember what day you submitted the claim? Um, give me a minute. Found it. I filed the claim on December 27th, so exactly one month ago. I see. Typically a case is resolved in six weeks, but since it falls within a holiday period, it can take up to eight weeks. Can you provide me with the eight-digit reference number and I'll contact you within 72 hours with an update on where the team is with the process. You're listening to KFED's Traffic Report. Current traffic is moving incredibly slow due to the heavy snowfall. The Thompson and Government Bridges are both in a gridlock. One part of the city that commuters are still moving is at the intersection of High and Lane Street. As the snow continues to fall, traffic will continue to get backed up. Weather reports show the snow is supposed to fall for the next five hours, accumulating up to four inches. So try to avoid driving later in the night. The bridge closure at Harbor Bridge has been completed. So remember, this is an option for some commuters. Thanks for tuning in. This is Jane Cup for KFUD, the best option for your traffic news. Stay tuned for the weather update with Kat Olson.
Welcome to the Country Fair. We are celebrating the beginning of autumn by passing out some door prizes. We have already passed out $500 worth of prizes to a lucky few attendees yesterday. But don't worry, we have a lot more to give and who knows, you could be next. Our town's education board will be doing a raffle every 30 minutes until 4pm when we will have a prize draw for the grand prize. This year's grand prize has been donated by Lucy's Bakery and is a brand new kitchen art baking set. If you would like to enter the draw, please head to the ticket counter. If you are entering through the first gate, take a left and follow it down to the end of the aisle. The counter is right in front of the attraction on the right. Best of luck! Welcome to the Country Fair. Fun Furniture has been in living rooms for 14 years, providing comfort to family and friends. In celebration of our 15th year of business, we are dropping a great new product. We would like to introduce you to the L-shaped storage line. Enjoy the comfort of our traditional sofas with built-in storage for each one. Not only this, but it also has additional back support to help support your posture. Don't worry, the price is right. Head to your local Fun Furniture to try it out now. Fun Furniture has been in living rooms for 14 years, providing comfort to family and friends. In celebration of our 15th year of business, we are dropping a great new product. We would like to introduce you to the L-shaped storage line. Enjoy the comfort of our traditional sofas with built-in storage for each one. Not only this, but it also has additional back support to help support your posture. Don't worry, the price is right. Head to your local Fun Furniture to try it out now. Hello, this is Susan calling from Smile Dentistry. I'm calling to inform you that you are due for a six-month checkup. We have a cancellation and can fit you in next Thursday at 9 o'clock. Please send us a text to 999-1203 to let us know if this will work for you. Please remember...